Right guys, all these boats are gathered here for the town's festivities and we're gonna have a nice lunch aboard Princesa and well basically we have about seven days parting <laughs> so stay tuned but first let's have a look at each of these giants and their history the Boa Viagem is a Varino class vessel with a flat bottom, long rudder, round elongated bow that curves inwards it has a mast inclined to the stern supporting a gaff rigged sail and a stay sail Long gone are the days when dozens of these giants sailed the Tagus River and estuary. Boa Viagem's construction year is unknown, but it is known that in the year 1900 it was owned by Emigdio Gonçalves and was registered with the Port Authority of Lisbon under the name Marshal Saldanha. It had other owners after, but in 1980 the Moita Sinti Council purchased the vessel with the aim of preserving and enhancing this historical and cultural heritage of the Tagus estuary. Its restoration was carried out at the Gaio Naval Shipyard by Master José Lopes, where traditional carpentry, caulking and naval painting techniques were used. I had the honor of meeting Master Lopes and we had long chats while my 24 feet clinker boat was in his shipyard for maintenance in the 90s. Back then he already predicted that the traditional shipyards had a bleak future. O progresso também destrói e, através de todas essas andanças, isto vai morrendo lentamente. Pelo menos este estaleiro e esta profissão, a pouco e pouco, vai, vai, vai desaparecendo porque não há aprendizes. And he was right. At present, here is our sailing school and our club's launching ramp. In September 1981, on the occasion of the festivities in the village of Moita, the boat was presented to the population with a new name, o Boa Viagem, a sign taking into account local religious traditions. This marine has been featured a few times on my videos. There are maybe a handful of arenas now which regularly sail the Tagus, the Liberdade, the Sodotejo, the Amoroso, the Boa Viagem and the Vala Real. Maybe a couple more, can't remember. This is the Varino class. Now we're gonna see the Bot. No, the Bot Leão. In the 1900s, making the connection between the two banks, there were many vessels under sail that transported goods to the capital. And, in this connection from Alcochete to Lisbon, the importance of the original Bot Leon was, for this town, undeniable. Due to her characteristics, she caused great admiration among those who saw her sail. They called her the King of the Nor'easters for the graceful and speedy way in which she cut through the waters of the Tagus, in winds blowing from that direction. Little is known about the origin of that vessel, however, the inscription from the year 1781 on a rear bulkhead suggested that the construction was even earlier than that. Unfortunately, the original Bot Leon was lost but her drawings remained. the Alcochete City Council decided they should bring the legend back to life, so they applied for funds and private support to achieve this, and the new Bot Leon was built at Jaime Costa's shipyard, from drawings provided by the Navy Museum, and it was launched in June 2016. These images were captured with a phone over the period of one year, and you can see the full video on YouTube, link in the description below. If you see my channel, you know some of these local heroes by now.
The next one is the Muleta. The Muleta is a boat considered by many as the most extraordinary of all traditional vessels. It was characterized by hoisting several unusually shaped sails and fishing by laterally trolling a long net called the Tartaranya. It also had two long spars coming off the bow and stern, which served to control the other sails and, at the same time, to tie the ropes that held the net when it came into action. These smaller sails were trimmed so that the boat would stay positioned laterally to the net while trolling. So the main Latin sail was the basis for navigation to and from the fishing spot, while the other sails were trolling aids. It is a very old boat, which is referenced in engravings from the 18th century. This boat disappeared from the Tagus at the beginning of the 20th century. Bajero City Council decided to bring back this iconic boat, and guess who was in charge of the build? <laughs> you guessed it. None other than Jaime Costa. There is no amount of praise that can do justice to how much we owe Jaime Costa and his crew for all they have done for decades in preserving our heritage. Of course, all city councils involved and the team behind it, like engineers and architects, historians, all of them behind the project should not be forgotten. My thank you to all of them as well. All these boats are now sailing the Tagus and take passengers for small tours both from the north and south banks of the river. And now, don't go yet guys, we're gonna have a look at the festivities and a very important religious part of this all, the blessing of the boats. And it's starting to rain. Yeah. <laughs> 